Hello, greetings from Ayuka. I am Gulab Devangan. I work here as a faculty member. Today we are celebrating a seven year completion of our associate mission. As you know, associate is India's first multi wavelength uh, astronomy satellite. It was launched on September 2015 by the uh, Indian Space Research Organization. And that's, uh, the, uh, that is why we are celebrating the seven year completion today. We are really happy to complete the seven, successful uh, seven uh, years as uh, IUCA has contributed in, uh, in all aspects of uh, associate mission, including instrumentation, calibration, operation, user support, as well as, uh, and of course, uh, science. Professor Sam Tandon from IUCA laid one of the major instruments, the Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope on board associate, uh, and uh, he actually played the lead role in development of this payload. And this particular instrument has uh, produced some of the fantastic images of uh, sky in the ultraviolet uh, ba band. Here, IUCA scientists have also produced uh, some of the best results using this uh, uh, instrument. Professor Dipankar Bhattacharya, who, who was a Tayuga until very recently, and now he has moved to Ashoka University, he actually is the payload manager or principal investigator of the CJTI, the cadmium zinc telluride imager uh, payload. He has contributed in all aspects of this uh, CJTI instrument. We also run here the payload operation center for this CJTI instrument, where we receive the raw data from ISRO we process here, we check this data, and then send back to ISRO, which then distributes the data to, to, to the scientists all over the <coughs> country as well as outside uh, uh, in India. We also developed the associate proposal system, which assists scientists uh, all over India as well as outside to prepare the proposals and submit the proposal for observations with the associate mission. This particular software system also helps in operation of the associate mission based on the scientific proposal submitted by these this scientists. In addition, we also run here the associate science support cell where we host all relevant information for, uh, for, uh, for AstroSet which is useful for <coughs> using the AstroSet data and to produce scientific uh, results. As part of the ASCC or the Associate Science Support Cell, we conduct training workshops for students, MSc students, PhD students, even the seniors who want to use the data, uh, associate data. So my instrument is like, it's, it's a basically camera which will see in your ultraviolet uh, wavelength. And we have developed this uh, controllers here, you, as you can see this is a data acquisition system and this is the data controller. So the first controllers for the imagers were de designed in lab, further obviously they were modified, upgraded and finally used in the space. In the lab we have worked on UAT part of AstroSat, uh, UAT uses star 250 imager sensor, uh, it is basically a detector for imaging, all the images will be taken by star 250 detector. Those detector what we purchase were not space qualified. In order to save cost, we, we basically uh, bought off the shelf devices and they were space qualified uh, with the help from TF and ISRO. So for qualifying this detector, data acquisition system and a high speed detector controller were designed, developed in the instrumentation lab. I think we started working on this project in 2003 and we are working for 2 to 3 years continuously on this project and then uh, towards the 2010-12 again there were work in small pieces which was coming in. So, wherever there is some issue or some old documentation needs to be referred, we are working. I am working on black hole X-ray binary systems. Such systems contain a black hole and a companion star and they are orbiting around their center of mass. There is a gaseous exchange from the companion star over the black hole which leads to the formation of an accretion disk. Such a disk emits high energy X-rays. These X-rays, they are found to be variable using different observations. Now, there are some interesting features related to the, to the X-rays, to this variability that it's aperiodic in nature and it's possibly happening on multiple time scales like from milliseconds to possibly even years. And that's why in our work we are after the cause of this variability. So for this purpose we are using the data from the India's multi-wavelength observatory AstroSat and there are five payloads in the AstroSat. We are particularly using the data from two of its payloads. 
So lag PC is a proportional counter and uh, the, the good thing about lag PC is that it has a good timing resolution and it covers the hard X-ray range. And then we are using the S60 which is an imaging telescope, it covers the soft X-ray range. So the, the conjunction of the two is good for our studies. Uh, uh, today I'm very happy to share that uh, the Astros has, has completed its seven years. Uh, the expected uh, time period for the mission was uh, five years and we have completed already two more years and I'm looking forward uh, for uh, more uh, relevant publications and uh, use of uh, the scientific data from, uh, from the observatory. So my uh, research interests mainly revolve around the accretion disk study of uh, the compact objects. So in my, during my PhD years and right now also I am working on the black hole X-ray binary sources in which one of the uh, in which the compact object is the black hole and uh, we basically study uh, the accretion disk uh, around this uh, compact object in the X-ray. So uh, for that study I have utilized the uh, data of the data of S60 and the LXPC instrument on board the Astrosat. My primary uh, field of research is uh, to study the evolution of galaxies and how they uh, assemble their mass over mm -hmm. time. Very recently we have studied a sample of uh, star forming dwarf galaxies uh, which uh, have been observed by uh, our uh, Indian uh, satellite Astrosat. So I think uh, our work, it would uh, help us, uh, I mean, bring us one step closer to understanding how these uh, dwarf galaxies, they are evolving and also it will aid in the understanding of uh, galaxy uh, formation and evolution uh, as a whole. Here being at Ayuka, that means we are inter-university center is a great advantage because we receive a number of visitors from the university sector, including PhD students, as well as MSc students and uh, young researchers and faculty members who come here and use uh, resources available at the Associate Science Support Cell. They also work with us and produce excellent uh, results. Associate has, is, has become truly an international uh, space observatory where people from all over India uh, use uh, the, the data as well as they uh, uh, submit proposals for scientific observation. So far, Associate has uh, produce more than 300 or about 300 uh, research papers in interna international journals and many more to uh, many more to come we are looking forward for it and uh, we hope that associate uh, will continue to operate as it has been thank you very much